Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add a single autofill entry in Google Chrome. Uh, we did a video on how to remove a single one, but this time we're going to talk about adding it. So normally by default the settings for Chrome uh, to, to have it all enabled to always ask you whenever you go to a website you type in your name and password the first time if you want to save it. So like for example I have this Dropbox here. If I go to sign in you can see it's saved there and if I click on it it's coming out of my Google account there. But let's say you uh, went to a site and you logged in you say, don't save this password, and then the next time it didn't ask you, but you actually want to go there and add it so it um, will remember it for the next time. So what you could do is from Chrome, go to the settings, the three dots up here, settings, and you have the autofill section. So now there's two sections, actually three. If you want to save a credit card, you could do that, but I don't really recommend doing that because you never know who's going to get into your browser. Um, so here's for addresses. If you want to add a new address, you know, like your street address, you could put that in there for autofill purposes. But for passwords, so right here you can see how it's enabled by default, so you could turn it off from here, and you can see I have the Dropbox uh, saved as well, so that's where it pulled it from. So if I want to add one, let's say we want to do Amazon. So we go put in the site. Let's say the email address for that account. Let's say the password for this account, which is all made up by the way, and we'll save it. Okay, so now that's saved, so if we go to Amazon, click on sign in, click in the box, see it's pulling it from the account or information that I just added there, the username and password. So pretty simple to do. So once again, just go to the settings, autofill, and then for the uh, passwords, you know, logins, put it in here. And then for, you know, physical addresses, house address and that kind of thing, put it here. And if you want to do credit card, you could do that as well. I'll put a link in the video for the uh, method to remove a single autofill address. Uh, and then you can check that out if you need to do that as well. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.